Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Pisces love prediction reading for July 29th through August 4th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it. Leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my loving, kind, fun, sweet Pisces. Show me spirit, guys. What's going on my Pisces? Let's see. Show me spirit, guys. Five of Swords, Ten of Wands, The Empress, The Emperor, and the Knight of Wands. Well, I'm going to tell you what I see here. Which, first of all, there's the emperor and the empress here. And when I see the emperor and the empress together, this is a power couple. This is a boss couple. This is a boss couple. You guys are a boss couple. Um, you're known in the community. Um, and you, you are a boss couple. Uh, people know you. People, um, uh, you, you might have a business together. There is something here. There's something within this community. Let, let me say this to you, though. And this is what, this is a really sweet reading because what it is is that I see with the Five of Swords at the beginning of the reading. Five of Swords is about loss. Five of Swords is about loss. It's also about mental energy. It's about hurt. It's about pain. It's about loss. And here's a Ten of Wands that's here. Whatever you lost before, which I do believe had to do with the child, congratulations, you're pregnant. And I see this. The, t the empress is in the middle of the reading. The empress is, is a fertility. Congratulations. It, you're pregnant. I, you're pregnant. Um, this is over. This this burden is over because you've been trying. You've been trying. There's been a lot of loss here when it came to this too. You've been trying to get um, to be pregnant. You've been trying. You've been trying over and over again. And it just wasn't happening. See, here's the deal. You and this, whoever this is right here, this, this couple, your couple, you got everything. You got the money. You got the love. You've got the respect. You've got everything, but you didn't have a child. But congratulations. Congratulations. Um, and I see this that there's there's a child that's here. There's a lot of passion in this relationship, too. There's a lot of passion. That Knight of Wands is about passion. It's a lot of passion, but um, you guys need to work on something. And what I think you need to work on is just the fact of having the passion there for a minute and then it goes away. You know, being very passionate for a minute and then it goes away. And I think that that's important because you're getting ready to move to a new cycle with having this child. And I think that um, you need to learn. You need to learn from each other how to love and how to love unconditionally. I'll say that again. I think you've been through a hard time with having this child. I think that this has been an on and off um, feeling that you guys have had for each other. I think you love each other. I'm not saying you don't. But with the Knight of Wands here, that's an on and off. Um, that's a, 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 a non-committed um and I think you were just non-committal because you were both upset of not having this child. But I think this has changed because you are with child now. You're pregnant. Congratulations. Now, give me three to five minutes. I want to clarify the reading to see what additional information the spirit guys want you to know. Let's see what additional information the spirit guys want you to know. Why is this five of swords here? Sit back, relax. Give me three to five minutes. Um, excuse me, called Aries. I'm sorry. Give me three to five minutes, Pisces. Let's see. Why is the Five of Swords here? Show me, Spirit Guides. Six of Wands. I told you. Congratulations. That's winning. You won. You Finally, you're pregnant. You're pregnant. You had everything, all the money and everything else, but you didn't have You didn't have this pregnancy. You, you weren't able to get pregnant. But congratulations. Um, congratulations. Congratulations. 
you're, you, you're winning now. You're winning. You've had the money. You've had the love. You've had all those things. You've been a boss couple. You've known in the community, but you really, really, both you and he, really, really wanted this child, wanted a child and some, for some reason. You weren't able to have a child, but congratulations. This Ten of Wands is here. This burden. Let's see why this Ten of Wands is here. Show me, Spirit Guides. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Five of Swords again. What did I say to you? My goodness. Thank you, Spirit Guides. When the Spirit Guides give you the same cards in the reading, that means whoever I'm reading for, I'm telling you exactly what the uh what you want to know exactly um, i'm giving you the information from the spirit guys they're telling you exactly what is happening here that five of swords is over this ten of wands again it's over this ten of wands again and like i said this ten of wands is about straight ten of wands is just about um burdens you know that you had so many burdens it was a loss here you always felt this loss because all the money and everything else but you couldn't get the child but congratulations you're pregnant so let's see, why is this Empress card here? Show me, Spirit Guys. Why is the Empress card here? Show me, Spirit Guys. Why is the Empress card here? <laughs> what did I say? Nine of Cups? The Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups. You are most grateful to the, to the universe for this child. You are most grateful to the universe for this child. The only reason the Ten of Cups is not there. And I do believe perhaps you you may not be married yet. I'm not quite sure. Um, but that Ten of Cups, there's Nine Cups here, which Nine Cups represents just total content, being very content, being happy because you're pregnant. But there's that one cup that's there. And I think that this emperor, uh, I think because he runs things too, um, I think that he has not married you yet, but I, he's, he's going to. I think that he has been, and possibly too with this Knight of Wands here, I'm going to be very honest. There may have been an on and off relationship, yet you always, guys, always came back together. You're still known. You might run a business together. You're just known in the community. You could be doctors and lawyers together. I don't know. You could, I mean, you're very well known together. And like I said, the 10th cup is not there, which is your happily ever after, um, is him coming back. But he's been on and off, I think. And that's what I said. That's what's missing here. There's been an on and off relationship. It's not going to be that anymore because he's thrilled. He's going to be a father, and you're thrilled that you're going to be a mother. So let's see. Why is this Empress, Emperor card here? Show me, Spirit Guides. Now, the Emperor also likes to control things as well. Remember that. Emperor can represent an Aries sun sign as well. So let's see. Show me. Show me. Why is this Emperor here? Six of Cups. Yeah, what? Man. You guys known each other, and I said this. The Six of Cups... That's, you've known each other. You've had good times, bad times. That's why there's been there's been an on and off again. You, you, you know, you haven't been consistent with each other, but yet you wanted this child. The 10th cup is, is your happily ever after. The 10th cup is is him proposing and, and making uh, making you his wife, making you wifey. But the six of cups is there. You've known each other for a while. You've known each other for quite some time. You, you could have gone to school together. I mean, you, you could have grown up together. Um, but that means you've just known each other. You guys have known each other for quite some time. You just have not made the jump to be uh, married. But you still, with this child here, there's been a loss here before, but not this time. Not this time. So let's see. Show me why the Knight of Wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Six of Pentacles. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's not playtime anymore with you guys. It's no more playing house. It's no more that. This is about to go down. This is about to be a family. There's no more. Six of Pentacles is about love. It's about generosity. It's about kindness. It's about a give and take. This is about, um, he's, he was, I, and I strongly believe there was not a commitment here before, but he will be committing now. He's thrilled. I just say that he's thrilled to be a, come about to be a father. That's what he wanted as well. That's what he wanted. He wanted the same thing you wanted. Let's start at the very beginning. The Five of Swords. There's been loss here, but you're winning with this Six of Wands. The reason you're winning, look look at this. Ten of Wands is here. This is complete. This Ten of Wands is complete. This Five of Swords is hurt. This loss, that's complete. Because here in the middle of your reading, which <laughs> is the Empress, which means you are with child. You are with child. You're pregnant. And look at the Nine of Cups over that Empress card. It's what you both wanted. You've been with this man for quite some time. You both wanted this. He had not been, 
made a formal commitment to you, even though you guys have loved each other for quite some time, you may have gone broken up, got back together. There was never a full commitment here. But oh my, right now is get ready because he's about to commit. He he's thrilled to be a father. You wanted, you know, you've had a, and I strongly say I think you were pregnant by him before, and I think the hurt was so great that. You know, it just was not the commitment yet. Not that it had anything to do with you. He just did not commit yet. You just had not even committed to him yet. However, with this child that is coming, there was, he's thrilled. He's just thrilled, and you are too. That night of wands lets me know that this has been an on and off again possible relationship. But look at the six of pentacles. Love, generosity, kindness. Yeah, love, generosity, and kindness. That's what it is here. That's what's going on now. Let's see what my oracles have to say to you. Show me. What do my oracles have to say? Wow. My oracles. What do my oracles have to say? Well, I'm going to pull this because I strongly believe. If you believe. And that's what you guys both did. You, believe, you believed. You believed. You absolutely believed. You absolutely believed in each other. I'm going to pull this card too because it's coming up. Because in the near future, and I say straight, that he's going to marry you. He's going to marry you. Absolutely. In the in, um, near future, quickly, I'm going to pull success. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, card that's coming up. Yes. Absolutely, yes. You and him are going to be together. You and him are going to be together. Um, I think that most definitely there's going to be a marriage here. I think also meditation brings answers. That's my favorite card. Whatever you do, meditate to your higher power. Prayer works. Pray whatever you do. Whatever you do because in my next card that I'm going to pull again, it's yes. Yes, absolutely. You and he are going to have this child, build this family. There will be commitment. There will be commitment. Absolutely, there will be commitment. I'm going to pull this card too because it says improving health, and that's why you're able to carry this child now. That's why you are you having this child. It's um you have your health, your health. It's come back, and you're able to have this child. There has been loss in the past, but you have this child that's coming. Um, your health has improved, and big happy changes. Congratulations. Just get ready. Just get ready. Get ready to to, to have a family. Get ready. Get ready. And the last card that I'm pulling, I said I was going to stop, but it's coming out a year from now. A year from now, I do believe you'll be married. You also have a child. Um, I, I just think congratulations. Just congratulations. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Pisces.